Hi, friends. <clears throat> I saw Chris Christopherson, the singer and actor, two times at Belterra Casino in uh, Indiana. He put on a wonderful, wonderful performance each time. Well, as I was reading articles, I, I, I learned two things that was kind of interesting because I found it in, in a book called Slow Now with Clear Skies. And they mentioned Janis Joplin. Well, I think they had a brief um, get-together, if, if you want to call it an affair. Well, that's not the only person that um, Janis Joplin uh, got together with. That, that's my favorite poet and singer. He's passed away a couple years ago, Leonard Cohen. So, yesterday, Chris Christopherson died. He must have really liked her, and Leonard Cohen really liked her. And I have to tell you the truth. I never really cared for her. I just never cared for her screaming, her drinking Southern Comfort. And I think she died by overdosing on several things. The reason I uh, thought I'd say hi today is because this was so recent. It was yesterday that Christopherson died, and surely he had more girlfriends and, than Janis Joplin. In fact, he, he was married, divorced, probably married a second time. I don't know his whole story. I just bought all of his records when they came out. And um, The Star is Born was his top movie. The Star is Born. Did you know he was a janitor at Columbus Records in Nashville? Did you know the first two the first two um publishing, song publishing companies that were going to hawk his, uh, uh, his uh, songs said, this ain't going to fly. Your, your songs aren't going to fly. You went to high flute in schools and it's too, it's too academic. I think the second publisher got him a little tutor, a little tutoring to uh, get him to talk more like a country singer would sing. So it, there was a climb to fame. I have a friend, Barbara Whitener. She said when she heard the song uh, by Janis Joplin, Bobby McGee or whatever the song was, she said, who wrote that song? She found that was Chris Christopherson. She didn't know I'd been buying his records and albums. So uh, he his song, that song, impressed a lot of people. Sunday morning, what was that? Sunday morning, he coming down. He wrote that for, um, I can imagine it in a hotel, 
drunk. Sunday morning coming down. He decided Johnny Cash should sing it, so he got in a helicopter. The rumor has it. And left the um, promo tape at his house. That song became a number one hit, by the way, by Johnny Cash. So many other people probably sang it too. Still wasn't really well known. He went to Woodstock. Johnny Cash and Mrs. Cash was with him, and they urged. They urged uh, Christofferson to sing some songs. And he was so bashful, stage fright's what we call it, that he wouldn't go out. He wouldn't go out until Mrs. Cash pushed him out. Said, you're going to sing. to the Woodstock audience. And he did. And he kept climbing up in popularity. It didn't happen overnight. And, but that was a break, break or make moment. Was that uh, Woodstock concert. Now, I, I um, haven't read his biography, so I'm not going to be able to share with you much more than I already have. Um, I remember him saying this. He wrote the, the song called Why Me, Lord? And it had to do with him going to Jimmy Snow's church. Jimmy Snow was a preacher in Nashville where movie stars went and singers went. And someone grabbed his arm and said, I'm going to take you there. And if you don't know the story, you can, you can look at the interview up. Why me, Lord? And he'll tell the whole story. He, he went up front and compelled. Couldn't. Couldn't really resist going up during the invitation. And he told Jimmy Snow, I don't know why I'm here. Jimmy Snow said, I know why you're here. And the result of that was the song, Why Me, Lord? Now, I uh, share that because when I listened to him both times, he, he apparently thought... The end was, the end was uh, in sight. <clears throat> he says, I don't mind dying, but I don't want it to be painful. <laughs> and now you know about all I know about Christofferson. And all I care to know about... Um, Janis Joplin. Well, this is the way I do my stuff. Free-flowing, memory, sometimes good, sometimes bad. If you like it, feel free to subscribe. It's going to hit different subjects. I guarantee I'm going to hit different subjects each time. I had no idea I was going to do this tonight. But I did, and I'm glad, and I'm glad you, you watched it. So if you like it, feel free to hit like. If you, if you uh, want to subscribe, no telling what I'll do next. You take care. Thanks for visiting.